forced it to you under trouble. <laughs> Danielle. <laughs> Danielle. <laughs> That was good. Do a big one. Uncle Trevor's the big one. Yeah, he's a big old fart now, isn't he? If I did. <laughs> That's funny. If I did. <laughs> Call Uncle Trevor an old fart. I know. Look what you're teaching your kids. Well, you know, <laughs> it's just for you. Yeah. She wanted to call you before Parker woke up and hogged the phone. Oh, well, that's nice of him. Because when they sing at the same time, Parker overpowers him. Oh, yeah, I get that. So we had to call before Parker could. Well, well, thank you for calling. Can you tell Uncle Trevor I'll see you tomorrow? Love. Well. I'll see you tomorrow. Can you tell Uncle Trevor and Aunt Danielle bye? I love you. Bye, I love you, Danielle. I can't remember his name. You can't remember his name? Wow, how rude. <laughs> but you remember Danielle? No, I remember. We can't forget Danielle, can we? No, I can't Aunt Danielle was better than you, right? Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> I've learned to accept it. Okay, say bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Connor. Thank you for telling me happy birthday. <laughs> bye, guys. Love you. Bye, love you. Good morning, guys. Today is Trevor's birthday, so we're starting off a vlog at IHOP, letting him get whatever he wants, celebrating. He's even going to get an ice cream shake. Yeah, it's only me. But it's fine. It's my birthday, yeah. After this, we have a wedding to film again, and then we'll head back to his hometown to spend the week with his family. Eating. How was your breakfast, birthday boy? It was yummy. Good. So we have like an hour to kill, and an hour to kill before we're early to her wedding. So we don't even have to be at her wedding for another. Oh no. I have 15 minutes. Yeah. So we're we got some time to kill. So we're actually at Walmart right now. We're just gonna go in there and Good goof around. <laughs> How TVs used to be so expensive. And there's a 32 inch TV for $100. But back when I grew up. Back in your day. <laughs> 32 inch TV was like 300, 400 bucks. So, just, you know, times are changing. Check out all the toys though. Look at all this How to Train Your Dragon stuff. <gasps> Toothless. I love How to Train Your Dragon. Toothless. I know. Here it says, try me. Here's more what Toothless. Toothless is your jam. Toothless is, pro this is probably my favorite like little kids movie right now. Right now. Well, it's gonna change. Yeah, Look at this toy. It's a Utility vehicle plumbing van. It's for pooping, huh? Mm-hmm. Try me. Push the button. It farts. I like it. You hear the fart in it? Mm-hmm. I like it. That is my type of toy. That's the toy you're gonna get our kids. Oh, for sure. We gotta get going to the wedding? Yep. Okay, well, 
I guess are, we're done in Walmart. Thank you for coming with us on this journey. But we did get we did get Grizzle some some treats because, well, honestly, we feel bad for him sometimes. And he doesn't have any treats at his mom's house. So. Yeah, just Sky. So mm -hmm. we're gonna go bring him home some treats. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll see you soon. Okay, bye. We are back at his family's house. Today is actually the next day, but we wanted to wrap up the vlog by doing a quick little 28 things that Trevor has learned in 28 years. So he wrote down 28 different things that he's learned. He's gonna share them with you guys now. Check, check it out. What? This is how real men wear stuff. Oh yeah? What do you yeah. mean? It's just sandals. It's hot. Oh, but so you psyched, uh, hiked up, yeah. yeah, hiked your legs mm -hmm, up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, give me your 28 thing. First thing is, do not fart under the covers, and if you do, trap the other person under. <laughs> Don't eat yellow snow. So that was a pretty good learning lesson. Something that I heard yesterday at the wedding is that you should always flirt with your wife. Like you're still trying to win her over. And I thought that was a good one. Number four, don't drink and drive. And that's a serious one. Seriously, don't drink and drive. Five is treat everyone like they are the CEO of the company. Which means that you just need to treat everyone the same no matter who they are. Enjoy growing up and don't wish that you were older. Because in high school, I kind of wished, hey, let's grow up, let's go to college, let's do that stuff. And it's not as fun as it seems growing up sucks. Seven is life is not easy. And the sooner you figure that out, the better. Eight is learning to deal with failure because it will only make you better. Also need to learn that early. I learned that because we were never good in sports, so we lost all the time. Number nine, enjoy the small things in life. 10 kind of goes with eight, and it's, or it goes with seven, and just slow down and enjoy life because it goes by way too fast. And mom makes way too much noise. 11 is probably the most important thing, and that's that you choose family over everything. Make sure that you spend enough time with your family because you're not going to be around forever. Don't dwell on the past. 13 is kind of weird. Don't trust people and that's saying that a lot of people have an agenda and they use you for things so just always do what you want to do not necessarily what people want you to do because it's usually not in your best interest. Have patience in relationships. All relationships not just your wife not just your husband all relationships have patience with people which I'm still working on 15 I was running out of things to kind of think about so Danielle started throwing things off the wall and one of them was what did you learn about our wedding what I learned about weddings are that they are very expensive and you need to just do what you want and not what you know your parents might want or what your sisters and dream like what do whatever you dream do whatever you want 16 it's funny because I learned 16 on one of my other birthday parties and that um, a beer cans blow up under pressure, so be careful. You like these? Yeah, they're good. 17 is to do things out of your comfort zone, like getting a cat, because I hated cats before. I didn't want one. I didn't know what they were all about, but I love Grizzle, even though he's kind of a pain. But do things out of your comfort zone. 18, we were shooting stuff off the wall again, and Danielle asked me what I learned when we moved to Indiana, and I learned that they have a lot of colleges. If you want to know the colleges, go look them up. There's like literally 30 of them. 19 is college degrees do not set your life, but helps you get to where you want to be. One thing about college is you might go into college thinking after college, I'm going to get a job in this exact field, and that's where you're going to be the whole life, your whole life. Some people, that works, but a lot of people realize that they want different things after they've worked so long. So just use college as a stepping stone don't think you have to stay in the field or in the job that you start with I learned what it actually means to love someone and that basically means that you finally figure out that loving someone means that you care about them and what they need and what they want more than what you want because in the end if you love someone and you both love each other the same you'll both get what you want out of everything that makes sense. If it doesn't, comment down below because we need comments. <laughs> <laughs> you like that little laugh? I like that little laugh. That's good. 21 kind of goes with what I just said earlier. If you hate your job, leave it because it's never going to get any better. You you might think, oh, more money will be better. Um, a different team will be better, which I guess could work. But if you don't like your job, you're probably never going to like it. If you don't like it, you might as well get out and do something you do want to that you do like and do want to do. 22, which is my favorite number by the way, is do what you want 
and what makes you happy. Don't let others dictate what you can and can't do. Kind of like the like video games I loved. Well, when I was little, it wasn't like a thing to like video games. It wasn't a thing. It was more of looked after as being nerdy and lazy and that type of thing. But lately, I have a gaming channel now. That'll be commented down below. In, or the in the little card. description. In the description. Playing video games is awesome and I love it. And if there's anything in the world that I could do and make a job out of it, that would be it because I just love playing video games. Be yourself no matter who's watching, which I learned a lot from vlogging because before it was just weird to like talk in public, but now it's just be yourself. It doesn't, I mean, these people might look at you like, wow, why is that person talking to a camera and a stick? But they're not, one, you're probably never gonna see them again. And two, I mean, they don't care. 24 is put yourself in someone else's shoes to understand what they're going through. You need to be happy before you can make others happy. 26, people don't remember what you did 10 years ago, but people do remember what you do now. Meaning, all that you care about in high school, it doesn't matter, you guys graduate, you'll rarely ever see each other again, except at like school reunions, which, I mean, who goes to those anyways? 27 is I learned how to count to 28. And then 28 is the most important thing, and that you are never too old to continue to learn. Learning is the only way we still grow. So even though you turn 28, you still you still learn something new every day, even when you're, how old are you, Grandpa? You don't want to know. He's so old, he doesn't even know how to count that high. But he's still learning new stuff every day. Like, what did you, what did you learn in the crossword today? I don't know. What What'd you learn in the crossword today? That I can't spell. Well, he learned we that he knew can't that. spell. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it's important to realize that no matter how old you are that you're still going to learn and that's the only way we actually grow I mean age doesn't really mean anything except for taxes thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog we hope that you enjoyed it if you did give it a big thumbs up subscribe on YouTube if you aren't already and follow us on Facebook everything will be linked in the description we'll see you guys in the next one bye Boop. here we go